So in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can ship features fast with AI. So this is useful if you're building a SaaS or micro SaaS, but also even if you're doing no code, this like framework should be pretty good as well. In the video, I'm going to go over how you can use AI to ship features faster, how you can go from design to launching a new feature in less than an hour, plus do a live demo of me actually designing, building, and launching a new feature within Exponent Insights. So let's get right into it. This is what we initially wanted to make. So it's a free tool that allows people to come up with ideas to use as marketing for their projects. So especially if you um, hate marketing and you just want to create free mini tools to use and try to rank on Google, a dashboard where you can input your project idea and then it'll, the, the tool will generate a bunch of ideas that you can build out. So this was the final result. The headline is free marketing tool generator. So you, you put your project idea here. So let's say database of profitable ideas. You click generate and then it will generate you a list of tools that you can build out to use as marketing. So some of the stuff is like email subject line tester or color palette generator and obviously this will be specific to the project idea of each person but this is yeah what we were able to come up with so basically one of the new ideas that i had is building out free tools within the pro version the first tool that i thought of building out was coming up with tool ideas that you can use as marketing it's gonna be like a mini tool within exploring insights the first thing i did was i designed it so what you want to do is you want to design it in figma so even if you're not a great designer i think just having like a simple layout of what the page will do plus the design would help speed up the entire process so basically what i did is i um, designed out the general layout there's going to be a user input tab plus after the user types in their idea, then the tool is going to give out a bunch of tool ideas that the users can build to use as marketing. Um, basically, these are actually just screenshots. So that's one small tip to design faster, especially if you don't want to do all this in Figma. What you do is just go to a page and just take a screenshot of whatever component you want. This is the entire design I want. So it's pretty basic. And then after you do that, you just take a screenshot and then you paste it into Claude. So that's what I did. And you say, I want to turn this into Tailwind and HTML. And then the other thing I like to do is I like to give it a sample of my code. I have a page of all my code samples and what I do is I just copy and paste this. So I use Django and this is the code boilerplate of Django. So I just tell it follow and use this code boilerplate for Django. So you just do that and then you press enter and it will use the design to code the layout for you this is the code that is generating and then here is the entire code and it's really bare bones so what you can do is tell it to fill up the page with dummy data and make the design look nice and have a way for the user to input their idea and we generate a grid of cards so now that the code is generated what you do is just copy and paste it and put it inside your code base so i need to create a new file so I'll just do free tools html copy paste this we're gonna need to create a new page for this as well i'll like try to speed through this since i know a lot of you guys probably are not using django but yeah this is like the same process so let's see all right it is working like it created a new page but the design is not correct so what you can do is you, you can go to cloud and just tell it to fix it the thing is it actually didn't follow the exact code template so sometimes you just need to copy and paste and tell it to change the existing code to like this note the view structure and then to even speed up your entire workflow is just give it multiple commands so that it just makes all changes at once so you can say i don't want gradient design and then give me a bunch of dummy cards the cards are not showing. So, so just give it all your instructions at once and just don't wait to do it one by one. If this is all the code, you, you can just copy and paste it. But if it's not all code, you need to hit apply because when you hit apply, it will make changes to the entire code base. But sometimes if you have too much code, it won't write all the code. So that's the only small thing. So yeah, I just like refresh the page and yeah, so it looks pretty good. So the UI is like this button is not shown plus the grid is not really set up. So what you can do is go in here and just do com command K and cursor and just say, I want three columns in the grid. The button is not visible. And then the idea of this page is for the user to give 
description of their project and we give free tools that they can build to be used as market. Looking back, I probably should have provided this information in the first prompt just because the text isn't relevant to what we're trying to build, but it's okay because like you can just like, fix it later and it's not um, that, that big of a deal. So once it does it, you just press accept and you refresh the page and hopefully it's made the CSS changes and changed the functionality of the page as well. Yeah, refresh it. I mean, it's somewhat working. The only thing is this button is still not working and the grid is not showing. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't follow the instructions so you just have to prompt it multiple times. But yeah, this is an example where not all the code is shown. So to fix it, you just press apply and cursor will make all the changes for you. So you don't need to copy and paste. That's the main benefit on that, right? Just press this up and save, refresh the page and see if it fix the code. So let's see. Yeah, so, so now it's working. This button is still not showing. It's not that big of a deal. I'll like fix it later, but basically you can see like what the um, entire workflow does. Basically you just describe your project. So let's say my project is a database of profitable ideas that people can start and then they're going to be able to press generate and then it'll come up with all the tool ideas so let's say you want to create this one color palette generate right and then once you build it out you can use it as marketing so that's the idea it's been 10 minutes there are some small things that you need to fix especially if you want to make some backend calls you just implement the backend call here and then just update the front end and then it should be pretty good because like it's got the main functionality of what you wanted and if you compare like the our ex existing design to what we were able to make in less than 10 minutes it's pretty impressive so that's the end of the video and well, let me know if you guys actually like these building in real time projects if so i will continue to make them but yeah see you guys next time